to our channel so mom is here so obviously this is an episode of our antiguan kitchen we know you haven't seen a video from us for quite some time we really apologize for that but of course we had some technical difficulties that we finally sorted out thank you for being patient with us and of course we love all of your requests that you um sent in and th today we're actually making one of the request that um, was indeed sent in. <laughs> um, so we're making bakes or Johnny cakes or fried dumpling, whatever you may call them in your area. So mom's gonna just tell us a little bit about what goes into making bakes. Okay, um, so bakes is, um, is basically like white dumpling. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the difference is, I think, is that it has baking powder in it and you fry it um so you it, it would not be it's not a difficult it's not difficult to make mm -hmm. it's um something that you can make um quick if you you know you're just you're in the mood and or if you decide that you want it for dinner or for lunch or just for or even for breakfast and bakes can be eaten with any type of relish that you throw together yeah and we will show you when we come here today yes yeah, so we're gonna show you like different things that you can eat with the fried dumpling as you said you can eat it for breakfast lunch or dinner yeah. even a snack All the snack yeah yeah you can eat it with tuna peanut butter whatever you want because essentially it's like, it's like a like, fried bread it's like a bread yeah it's like yeah, a fried like bread a, mm -hmm. so but it's very 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 good so stay tuned and uh, we'll show you or demonstrate how you can make bakes johnny cake Fried dumpling. What we have here is the, some flour, baking powder, butter, sugar, and water. Now, what I normally do to make it a little easier for me is that I will pour the sugar into the cup and then I will stir it up so it can dissolve. So we don't have the grain, grainy, um, have the, the grainy sugar in the flour once we're kneading it. So I will mix this up until it dissolves. And in the meantime, what I will do is that I will mix and um, pour the butter into the flour. I will, you can use your hand if you so desire, but I'm going to use a fork. And I'm going to basically rub the flour, the butter, I mean, into the flour. I will be doing this until uh, the butter and the flour together have a sandy looking texture. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the baking powder into the flour as well. You could just add um add it in with the flour with the butter and just massage it, massage it or rub it in, you know. If you notice, the flour has a different look like it has a different color. It looks more like a pale yellow. That is because of the butter. I want to make sure that the sugar is dissolved properly, so I'm gonna. Stir it in a second. Okay, so I'm going to pour it in and um, a little bit of time, and then I'm going to use the fork and knead it in. You can also use your hand if you so desire. I just don't want to get my hand all. Mess up and stuff like that. So this is the reason why I do that. No, no. Okay. So here is where 
it add more fl more flour to the mixture. I can now take it off from the fork and then use my hand. This is where I start kneading it. Yeah. So here we have the Johnny cake already for the, the, the dough already portioned out. And so now we're going to um, head over to the stove and we are going to fry them okay, so again you want you want to you make sure that the oil is you know it's hot enough before you know proceed in, to put in the, the dumpling into the thing so this is a, a way how i test to make sure the oil is okay so i'm going to flatten the donny cake and then i'm going to put in put in one Once you put them in the oil, you want to make sure that you know they have oil, they, they're covered in oil. So I use a spoon because it's easier, and you're going to flip them. You're going to keep flipping, flipping. So if you look closely, you notice that they're starting to brown. So this is when you're going to continue to make sure. The oil on them okay and then you can always flip them again so so you're gonna flip and flip and flip this will ensure that they are cooked equally on either side what's the purpose of doing it out in a, like a flat thing first right can yes. just drop it in like that they can do people do round jelly cakes like this mm. that's i mean you will probably make them smaller mm. I mean, it's up to you, you make whatever shape you want. At this point, the the Johnny cakes are already cooked inside, I believe. Um, but you might want them to be able to brown. Alright, so we're back. I'm sure you just saw how we made our own fried dumplings. Um, so we have them all here and then we're showing the different things that you can probably eat with fried dumpling. We have um, some soft fish, a ling fish, some salmon, some yeah, some stewed salmon. And and this is this is not even the fresh salmon. This is canned salmon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and this is corn beef. Corn beef. Yes. So anything that sauce is really good yeah. and for eating with the fried dumpling. So we're both gonna try. Yes. Mom's gonna try the soft fish. So these are a little bit warm. Oh, they're not it's hot. hot. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Okay. So put from the bottom. Okay, so maybe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you see, you know, this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see the steam coming. It's really hot. You said to take one from the bottom. Yeah, it's still yeah. hot. Okay, so <laughs> I'll put it in the tissue. So, yeah, if you can see, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you know what Johnny cakes look like no um yeah i said earlier that the difference between the Johnny cake and the uh, white and cooking white dumpling is the baking powder but i forgot to mention this that the sugar so it's just two two different ingredients two added ingredients to when you're making white dumpling so yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to try it with the ling fish mm-hmm Oh, you didn't have a fork, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat it like okay. this. <laughs> okay. I could, you could, you could only, you could also dip it in there if you wish. Or you could just, you know, take a piece of the main fish. Mm -hmm. So it's crunchy on the outside. And I believe that's because of the sugar. Just in the chunky. Oh. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. I didn't take a TV bite. Um, but I just said it's very nice and crunchy, I guess. Solid on the outside and then very fluffy in the inside. So it's very good. We definitely recommend this recipe. You can make it no matter where you are. I know some of, sometimes we give you recipes and you can't find those local ingredients, but everybody should be able to make this, right?
Okay, so this pad actually got cut out, but we wanted to definitely encourage you to make this recipe. Trust me, it's a really good one. Let us know for sure if you make it and if you enjoyed it and if it came out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, share thumbs up this video. And and comment for sure let us know what you want to see in the future and we'll just go ahead and see you in the next one bye, bye.